Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Got a quick one for you today. Basically, I was recently given a trolley jack to recycle to send to the scrap metal yard because I do a lot of recycling. A lot of my family members know that. And uh, I make a little extra money and also keep things uh, out of the landfill that shouldn't be in the landfill. So even instead of scrapping this one, I thought I'd go ahead and try and fix it so I can keep it in my utility trailer so there's always a jack in there for any problems that I might come across, whether I need a jack to do a job or uh, need a jack to use on the trailer. So basically, uh, not that this is the best camera shot for this, but this jack is not lifting as high as I think that it should. That might give you a little bit better of an idea of how high it's going. It should be about right up here somewhere. Not that, again, that this is the best shot for it, but basically it is not going any higher and I think that it should be. So here's another example. Maybe you have a bottle jack that's not lifting up all the way. This is a Pittsburgh eight ton. This could go for any of the floor jacks trolley jacks, bottle jacks, especially from Harbor Freight because they're pretty similar across the board from what I can tell. Basically, you're going to run down to your local hardware store or your local Walmart or auto parts store, probably all kinds of different places you can pick this up. But basically, it's jack oil. It's to refill your jack reservoirs if they leak and run out of the hydraulic oil to do the work for you. So here on the bottle jack, I'm not going to remove it, but this is one cap that can be removed. It's a rubber cap here on the back side to fill the reservoir. On this jack, this trolley jack in particular, there's another cap in the same spot basically. This pick probably isn't the best tool for it because I could puncture it, but uh, I think we'll be all right. The nice thing about this jack oil is uh, it has leak stop in it, some kind of uh, additive to stop your jack from leaking. I don't actually see this thing leaking or evidence that this thing leaks very bad anywhere or anything like that. So that might not actually be an issue, but it definitely is acting like the issue is that it's not getting enough fluid. So we'll go ahead and try and put a little bit of fluid in there. This thing definitely seems to be acting empty or seeming empty. It's not a very big reservoir, so it shouldn't take too much. Actually took a little bit more than I thought, but of course some of the fluid is taking up space in the piston because it is jacked up a little bit. Then you'll just have to work your cap back in. They don't always go in super easy. So I finally got the plug back in. Uh, let's go ahead and try and see if this lifts up anymore. It should, I'm thinking the whole, yep, there we go. We're already getting up higher. I thought it was very uh, obvious that that was the problem or pretty clear. So now I'm gonna go ahead and let the jack back down. So as I suspected, I overfilled it and I lost my plug. So I gotta find it and uh, clean up a little bit of this oil, put the plug back in and then we'll go ahead and run the cylinder all the way out. All right, so we got the plug back in. Let's go ahead and tighten the screw down, tighten down and just run the cylinder all the way out. Well, that's as far out as I expect it to run. So just make sure you don't make the same mistake that I did. If I was doing this off camera, I'd like to think I wouldn't have made that mistake. I was trying to keep this at the same height so that you could see where it wouldn't pump anymore. And then after I filled the oil, it was able to rise some more. The cylinder was able to run out more. But you know, we all make mistakes and I, I definitely make a lot of mistakes, so that's fine. Just make sure that you push your cylinder all the way back inside the housing before you put the plug on and before you fill it up with oil. Otherwise you're gonna end up wasting some oil like I did. Although it's a $25 jack, we saved it from going to the junkyard and uh, just being turned into scrap metal and I can put it in my utility trailer and use it for whatever I need it for. So hopefully if you are having hydraulic jack issues, this solved your problem. If your problems are worth uh, worse than this, if you have a cheap Harbor Freight jack or like Walmart jack that you're repairing, it might be worth just replacing it. There are some seals and other things that can be replaced pretty easily, but uh, this is definitely without a doubt a little repair worth doing that maybe you didn't know about. So thanks for watching everybody. Please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed, think about clicking that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.